Good morning, everybody. It is Amy Bennett with the AM Show, coming to you live from my back porch. <laughs> I have to tell you, it's actually starting to itty bitty feel like fall. I mean, it's still kind of muggy and warm out here, but I can feel it. I can feel it. It's not as warm, and that makes me really sad because I'm a summer girl. I'm not a fall girl. I mean, I'll eat a pumpkin spice latte with the rest of them, but I would much rather it be summer. I'm staring right now at our pool, pretty blue water. Man, I'm gonna miss summer. Um, today, um, well, first of all, let me tell you just last night. Last night was kind of crazy. I mean, honestly, I was supposed to be in three places, three different places at one time, and I could not do it. <laughs> Between meeting different teachers and taking, kids to youth group and doing that like I was supposed to be in three different places um, and the thing I haven't told you this week is Scott has been out of town since Sunday he's coming back today so I feel okay telling you guys but Scott has been out of town since Sunday and so I was I, I didn't have any help um, I have you know I've been doing all the things this week all the things so um, thankfully my um, Emma's friend got her to youth group so at least she got to youth group I didn't get to go um, I see Marie is on. Thanks, Marie. Her kids go, um, <clears throat> they all go to my church. So she gave me notes. So thank you for helping me with that. And then my mom was able to go to the, meet the teacher and help like get information. And so thankful for friends and family that help out. But listen, I'm gonna be glad for Scott to get back today. Um, you know, whew, shout out to all you single moms. I, I feel like this, um, all the time anytime Scott leaves I mean oh my gosh there's no like off button like you're on 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 anyway um so um this morning um I ran into um I ran into a scripture something that uh Jesus said in Luke I mean he didn't you know it was documented in Luke what he said and um I think he would have something to say to me and I think he would have something to say to some of you and here is the quick phrase Teresa I see that you said you you were actually live and you're up early this morning so thank you for being here when you're up early um, so here's the thing some of us need to burn it down some of us need to burn it down this sounds like a dramatic like Taylor Swift song or something there's probably a, a Taylor Swift song that like could speak to this I don't know <laughs> um, but let me explain um, what I'm talking about burn it down maybe some of you like when you hear that you are already you already know um, what what God is speaking to you already about but let me tell you where it came um, up for me so I was reading like I said in Luke in Luke 9 um, somebody comes up to Jesus and says I will follow you Lord but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family and Jesus replied, no one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the service in, in the kingdom of God. No one who, who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the service, for service in the kingdom of God. And when I first read that, I was like, what? Like, like I kind of get what you're meaning, but I'm not really. So the, so the guy is going to follow, but he's like, um, he's like, wait, hang on. Let me, let me go do some stuff. And Jesus says, no one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the service in the kingdom of God. And it's actually a throwback, and I love when Jesus does this. I love, love, love when Jesus does this. It's a throwback to something that's documented in the, the Old Testament, and that is when Elisha gets his call from Elijah. And it's, it's him hearkening back to um, how Elisha handled his call. Um, from Elijah just how Jesus was calling this this person Elijah was calling Elisha and it says I'm reading in 1st Kings 19 and it says so Elijah went from there and found Elisha um, son of Sh Shaphat Sh Shaphat I don't know how to say these words Shaphat I don't know it kind of looks like snapchat now that I look at it anyway <laughs> um he was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen, and he himself was driving the 12th pair. Elijah went up to him and threw his cloak around him, which basically means he threw his cloak around him. That basically means he said, I'm going to take care of you, because the cloak was very important in those days. And then Elisha then left his oxen and ran after Elijah. What did he do? He's plowing the field himself, and he runs after Elijah. So this other guy... Um, 
you know, what Jesus says is no one puts his hand to the plow and looks back. So what he's saying is, sorry, there's a, a notification. What he's saying is, I want you to picture this as, as parents. Have you ever called your kids to do something, come to dinner? And then they say, hang on, let me finish this. Hang on, let me finish this. They look back to their computer <laughs> and finish their video game. I'm just saying. That was my that's my experience with my kids that's what they do you call them to do something and they they're like hang on let me finish this and that's what Jesus is saying you're putting your your you're plowing the oxen and you get a call and you go hang on you and you look back and you just finish what you were doing and Jesus says no when I call you to do something do not look back you run just like Elijah did you run to the person that's calling you you drop everything that you're doing and you go and the thing that I love about this, Elisha um, does say, Elisha then left his oxen and ran after Elijah. It says, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye. He said, and then I will come with you. And, Eli and Elijah lets him do that. He says, go back, Elijah replied. What have I done to you? And so this is what I love. It says, so Elisha left him and went back. He took his yoke of oxen and slaughtered them. He burned the plowing equipment to cook the meat and gave it to the people and they ate. And then he set out to follow Elijah and became his attendant. <laughs> you see what Elisha did? He's plowing, he's plowing his fields with his oxen. Elijah called him, he runs to him, doesn't plow anymore, he drops it. He kills the oxen, burns his plowing equipment in order to cook the meat. And then they eat, eat the oxen. Y'all, that is extreme. That's extreme. Like he, I mean, like dead stop. And that's kind of like, I can't believe it said that dead stop. I mean, cause it was a dead stop for the oxen. That's terrible. I'm sorry. I love animals, but it was like, there was no, hang on, let me finish this. Um, I'm done. I need to finish plowing this field. I mean, that field was just left. It was left. It did not get plowed. And there was, he, he burned the equipment and the oxen who, who could, finish plowing that right I mean I would like for my kids when I say come on let's finish dinner okay mom let me burn my computer and I'll be done with it and I will do whatever you say like this is extreme this is extreme <laughs> and this is what I think God would say to us burn it down burn it down there is something and I can say this because it's happening to me there is something that God is calling you to and you say, hang on, let me finish this. Hang on, let me finish this. I, I, I need to figure this out. I've got to finish what I'm doing. Um, it's not a good time. I need to wait. Um, I just don't see how this could work out. There's no point in me leaving right now. This would be really bad. Um, and, and you're going through, you're the kids. Hang on, let me finish this. You think it, the, it needs to be finished. And God says, no. He says, burn it down. He was like, when I call you to something, you run and you burn it down. And he is looking for immediate obedience. And, and it really is a heart posture because if you stay, it, it's, it's really about who is Lord of your life. Who is Lord of your life? If God is really, and we kind of talked about this yesterday, if God is really Lord of your life and you trust him and you know what he wants is best, then it's like you run and you burn the old stuff down. Even if the old stuff was good, I'm sure there was nothing wrong with that plowing equipment and nothing wrong with those oxen, but that season was over. The plowing was done because he was, because Elijah was being, Elisha was being called to be Elijah's attendant. And I think for some of us, God would say the same thing. It's time. It's time. It's, it's time to quit saying, hanging on, hang on. It's time to quit saying, I need to finish this. It's not the good time. And it's time for us to move forward in obedience and burn it down. I don't know what that has to do with. Um, there's definitely, uh, and I was at, you know, I hear some of these things sometimes and I have to ask like, God, like, is there something I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of tarrying on and looking back from my plow and saying, Oh, let me just finish this. And yeah, he had something for me this morning. Like I need to move on it. I need to move on it. Um, so I know I was, I was, uh, convicted and, and, um, challenged this morning from this. So I don't know. Um, let me know 
that's kind of in it and it's not a fun gosh that's not a fun message is it like to go burn down your oxen and I mean kill your oxen and burn your plow and whatever but give me some likes and hearts if that is like speaking to you I know it's I'm, I can't be the only one yes I'm seeing some so thank you thank you Lord <laughs> I think <laughs> you know sometimes you get these messages and it's like er, that is really hard message to hear um, okay, so because Scott is out of town, I am on duty to um, take Emma to work again. Yes, we are not. She has a car. The car is working out wonderfully, by the way. Her new car is just fantastic. We're all fans. We are even driving it as a family um, sometimes, and um, but she's not quite she's not quite ready to go um, on her own yet. Um, so we are going to. <laughs> We're holding off a little bit um, on her driving by herself, but she's doing a great job. She's doing a great job. She's she's a good driver. It just needs a little bit more practice. So, um, yeah, I'm going. I'm heading off this morning to do that. So, good morning, Darian and Debbie and Marie, Teresa. Um, yeah, Teresa says, "Amen." That's where I'm at. Okay, we can do this, Teresa. We can do it. We can do it. Um, and that's the that's the thing, y'all is that God can be trusted and whatever he's calling to he will be with you and I, and I think that's what I always have to remind myself when things seem scary or overwhelming good morning Nancy um, I am reminded that I will not be alone in whatever I'm doing so you drop all that you burn it down and God is right there waiting and um, it'll work out it'll work out um, Marie loves seeing Emma last night talking with her yep she was really excited to go and she always loves talking to you so <clears throat> I'm glad you guys got to got to talk so um, yeah I'm gonna go get her to work um, I cannot stand I keep saying I have a busy day I don't want to be one of those people who say I have such a busy day this week is just somebody asked me last week how's your week and I'm like it's actually kind of a busy week um, I actually have another interview today I'm interviewing dr. Allison cook she wrote a book um, called boundaries with the soul and it is um, I'm really excited to bring this um, bring this author to the podcast it's really gonna be a little bit different than we've ever done it's more like an expert but she um, come I don't know if you've ever heard of boundaries the book boundaries of how we have boundaries in relationships we have but um, and then we have therapy and um, she is trained in the type of therapy that I got last winter called um, internal family systems um, and then she integrates all of that with faith and how we can live um, the fullest life um, using all of those techniques um, so so boundaries in the soul is what it's called um, talk about I have to tell you I'm a little intimidated to talk to a doctor about something that I don't know anything about so y'all could pray for me <laughs> today um, I do have that and we're supposed to do small group today so um, we'll see about that okay well I hope you guys are oh goodness I hope you guys yeah you know, I take this all back it is so human out here like I feel like oh, I've been in a sauna the last 10 minutes it's not come it's not becoming fall it's still it's still summer for sure anyway okay guys I'm gonna hop off here you guys have a wonderful day and we will see you back tomorrow bye